All right then uh, welcome back everyone let's solve this question prepend and append timur initially had a binary string s so what is a binary string uh, a string which has only zeros and ones he performed the following operation several possibly zero times add a zero to one end of the string and add one to other end of the string for example for the string 1011 so initially let's say we had a string 1011 uh, you can obtain either basically add zero at the first one at the end or Add one at the end or zero at the end. So basically, prepend and append two different characters. That's what you can do. If you are given a string S, what Timur does is he prepends and appends different characters. Maybe it can be zero one or one zero. If you are given Timur's final string, what is the length of shortest possible string he could have started with? The binary string, yeah, they have given definition. So basically, we are given a final string after Timur had performed the operation. So what are operation? Prepend and append a different character, zero one or one zero, right? You know, prepend, right? Appending. Uh, Prepend means inserting at the first, and append means inserting at the end. So that's what prepend and append means in this context. For each test case, output a single non-negative integer, the shortest possible length of Timur's original string. Note that Timur's original string would have been empty, in which case you should output zero. Yeah, Timur's initial string can be empty, right? So for example, let's say there might be an example here which I can show you. Here, I guess it's the fourth example. So fourth test case. Let's see. Uh, fourth test case, right? So fourth test case. Which one is it? Yeah, this one. So From the initial empty string, okay, maybe I can go to Sublime and explain you. This will be a bit difficult to explain right this way. But the idea is very simple. Uh, Timur initially had a string. Timur initially had a string, and he had an operation, prepend and append different characters. That's that. Prepend and append characters. They are always different. That's what this operation had. And uh, initially, uh, and we want to find out now shortest possible original string. We want to find out the shortest possible original string. Okay. Shortest possible original string. Right? That's what they have written. What is the shortest possible string he could have started with? So he could have started with empty string, right? For example, let's say there was an empty string, and he did something like this. He made zero one, right? Prepended zero, appended one. Then he can maybe apply one more operation and uh, prepend one, prepend one, and append zero. So from this string, let's say if this final string was given, definitely, right? The shortest possible string, shortest possible original string is empty string, right? So that's what he has done. Now. This is actually a very simple question. Uh, if you ask me, it's a div four question, and uh, I'll just show you. I guess you also would have figured out uh, the idea of this question. It's very simple. So what happens in this question is, uh, you know, he's always appending and prepending different characters, right? Now, what you desire here is, what you desire here is, what is the shortest possible original string? Shortest possible original string. So what you can do is, I can make like, uh, let's just take an example here. Uh, for example, this one. Let's say this one only. So you know this guy is always prepending and appending different characters. So what you can do is you can maybe put two pointers, one pointer at the start and one pointer at the last. Are these two characters same? You can just compare. You can just uh, compare the values at this. Are these characters same? No. So then it might have been possible this was converted. These are not same, right? So it is possible that it has been converted from this string, right? Because this guy can prepend and append different characters. So Initially, I'm, I'll put the first pointer at the start and the second pointer at the end. If these characters are not equal, then I can be sure that uh, this string would have been converted from this string, right? So maybe I can just increment this left pointer and decrement this right pointer. Increment the left pointer, decrement the right pointer. So I can make two pointers pointing at start and end. And if the characters are different, I can increment the left pointer and decrement the right pointer. So here again, the characters are different. So This string would have been converted from one zero, right? So I can increment the left pointer, and decrement the right pointer. So you're getting what I'm saying. I'm gonna put the two pointers first at the start, at the end, and until until they are pointing to different characters, we can always contract this string. We can always contract the string. So basically, we are going reverse. We are going reverse. So again, still here they are not equal. So in, eventually, uh, J and I will cross now, right? So J will J will be basically out of bounds here. Like J will be less than I. That's what will happen. This is what will happen here. So. That is very simple. Just uh, I'll just anyway just take the input and make you explain. So first is n, then string s. I'll take two pointers. Left equals to zero and right equals to n minus one. And what I can do is while s of l is not equals to while s of l is not equals to s of r, what you can do is you can always contract the string, right? You can always contract the string. You can always contract. Contact this. So basically, from this string, uh, we are trying to get the original string. So how can you do it? How can you do it? If the 
character if the first and last character is not equal you can always contact the string so l plus plus r r minus minus but there's one more condition we need to have, take care of if they cross l has to be less than r right l has to be less than r if they cross here then we cannot do anything i'll take one more example let's say you had one it's in the end zero and something like one in the end so initially uh, i and j will be like this they are not equal so yeah this can be contracted this string could have been made from this now i and j are equal i j both point the same value so in this case also you need to stop add a simple put two pointers first uh, first uh, start at the end and whenever the character is not equal you can contact the string and what will be your answer the answer would be uh, the answer would be okay let's just take one more example here and you'll get i guess this final example will clear all your doubts so if you have here so ij i'll put here ij i'll put here so this string is si is si equal no so this string could have been formed from 0 1 0 1 1 right again this will be contracted it should so become 1 0 1 now ij are not equal so now s of i and s of j is not equal so we are not going to go into the loop and this is the value of i and j so what, what is the length of string it is basically uh, the length of string will be j minus i plus 1 so you can just print j minus i plus 1 right so obviously if this index was uh, i'll just write the index 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so eventually uh, i stopped at eventually i stopped at second index this was third index this was fourth index so what is the length of this string what is the string 4 minus 2 plus 1 right so j minus i plus 1 so that's what you can print and uh, yeah it also handles the empty string case so then j and i will be equal okay does it handle the empty string case j and i will cross there right so j and i will cross if j and i will cross then j will be uh, one less than i so maybe it will be something like this j will, j will be three and i will be four so three minus four minus one plus one is also handled so empty string case is also handled here by the way okay so that's that about this question let me just quickly run it and see if it works okay i need to take input yes, so l and r was there right so i have to make it l and r l minus r plus one okay let's see okay r minus l plus one <laughs> okay my bad so 1 2 5 0 1 2 5 0 3 1 0 2 4 right so let me summarize the question for you again uh, this guy timur uh, was given a string and he can either he can prepend and append he can do one operation one operation he can prepend and append a different character at the end of the string and we are given the final string what will be the original string so the observation was clearly we are always prepending and appending different characters so just take two pointers and until they are pointing to different values contract the string contract the string basically contract the bound and eventually uh, eventually when they are not equal mm -hmm. eventually they are not equal then i you can get the string length from i i and j value basically the pointers right that's that about this question let me just quickly submit it and see if it works uh, it works uh, thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one